Good morning, everybody. How are you all? Today we are going to talk about uh, trigonometric substitution. Trigonometric substitution to complete an indefinite integral. So I'll share my screen with you. Find the indefinite integral, spelling wrong, indefinite, D-E-F-I-N-I-T-E, -E, integral using the substitution x equal to 4 sine theta. The integral that we have to find is integration of 1 divided by 16 minus x squared, 3 by 2 dx. So, solution. Let's move this a little bit up. Solution that x, as they have said, substitute x is equal to 4 sine theta. Okay, so if I take the derivative on both sides, dx is equal to 4 cosine theta d theta, right? And x is equal to 4 sine theta. So that means if I divide by 4 on both sides, x by 4 is equal to sine theta. So if I draw the right angle triangle, and if I call this angle as theta, sine of theta is opposite side, which is x, divided by the hypotenuse 4. So if the opposite side is x, the hypotenuse is 4. This side, using the Pythagorean theorem, will be square root of 16 minus x squared. Because uh, x squared plus this side is equal to 4 squared is equal to 16 from Pythagorean theorem. So then what is cosine of theta from this diagram? Cosine of theta is equal to uh, adjacent side root 16, square root of 16 minus x squared divided by 4. Or if I multiply from both sides by 4, I get 4 cosine theta is equal to square root of 16 minus x squared. Okay. So we have been asked to integrate or find the indefinite integral of 1 divided by 16 minus x squared exponent 3 by 2 dx. Okay, so we can write integration of 1 over for 16 minus x squared 3 by 2. I can write it will be uh, 4 cosine theta or uh, 6 cosine squared theta so, or 4 square actually, it should be 4 square cosine square theta. So, 4 square cosine square theta is equal to square root, and I take the square root out, is 16 minus x square. So, this is the equation when obtained when I multiply both sides by 4 in the definition of um, cosine theta, and then I'm take the square of both sides. So I get 16 cosine square theta is equal to 16 minus x square. So for 16 minus x square, I'm substituting 4 square cosine square theta. And then this whole thing is over here, is raised to the power of 3 by 2. Okay. And then for dx, I can write 4 cosine theta d theta. So this now reduces to integration in the denominator 2 multiplied by 3 divided by 2 is 4 cubed. Similarly, cosine square 2 multiplied, the exponents get multiplied. 2 multiplied by 3 by 2 is cosine cubed theta. And in the numerator, I have 4 
cosine theta d theta. Now, if I create some space for myself, I will get this is equal to integration in the denominator. I will get 4 cancels with 4 cube to get 4 square and cosine theta cancels with cosine cube theta to get cosine square theta d theta. Okay which can be further reduced to 1 over 4 square was 1 over 16. And then I have in integration of 1 over cosine square d theta. Okay. So let me create some space for myself. I'll move this a little bit up. Oops. Okay. And like this and erase this and then okay. so this becomes equal to the is equal to one over sixteen integration of one over cosine square theta is integration of second square theta d theta. Okay, which is 1 over 16 integration of second square theta d theta is tan theta tangent of theta plus c. Now we can write the expression for tangent of theta from this right angle triangle. It's opposite side by adjacent side. So for tangent of theta, we can write Opposite side being x divided by adjacent side is square root of 16 minus x square plus c. Okay. C is the integration constant. So I will stop here today. This is the final answer. If you have any question, comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. If you like this video, please share it with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution. Thanks for watching today. Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time.